Across the U.S., adaptation is already underway as homes and coastlines crumble were forced to defend against a changing climate. From Boston to Boca Raton, the heat is on to build new protections against a rising tide, especially in the wake of one of the most powerful storms to hit the U.S. in decades, Superstorm Sandy. But look at this, the wave action just rolling here right across the seawall and up onto the grass. Goodness gracious. It's unbelievable. I never saw anything like that in my life. And I think Sandy put an exclamation point on the fact that we need to rethink how we build our coastlines. The projections for sea level rise vary greatly from city to city, but the averages give a stark idea about what's ahead. Well, if you look at the low, uh, low end of the curves, we're really looking at about 12 inches to, you know, over a 100-year period. If you're looking at the high end, you're really looking at roughly six feet over a 100-year period. These are some radical uh, differences in uh, you know, possibilities here. And so where do you plan? Even low-end projections will cause major changes to our coastlines. In New York, Mayor Michael Bloomberg released a $20 billion plan to address the growing threats. We can't completely climate-proof our city. We all know that. That would be impossible. But we can make our city stronger and safer. The plan includes massive seawalls, storm barriers, and upgrades to the city's infrastructure. Similar plans will likely be required in cities nationwide, but not everyone agrees that we've even begun to face the looming dangers. We can't even respond in a sensible fashion to hurricanes like Katrina and Sandy. How can we even pretend that we are ready to begin adapting to a future sea level rise? So can we build our way out of rising sea levels? I will tell you that it comes down to a question of economics. It comes down to financial ability um, and, a, and a willingness to pay. Here's the deal. I, I, maybe I'm speaking on behalf of myself, but hopefully other people in the country are, are feeling the same way. But we can't spend $60 billion every year to rebuild stupidity. We have to build smart. So as our climate continues to rapidly change, climate scientists are racing to keep pace. You know, Mother Nature is pretty tricky, and um, it's very difficult to engineer coastal protection for any possible storm. A reality we will have to prepare for as our weather continues to change. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, The Weather Channel.